this is a question that we are, we are attempting today for cost estimation, uh, which is uh, tested in uh, advanced uh, management accounting, uh, CPS section 5. It is also tested in uh, accounting technician diploma, ATD uh, section 3. Now, this question was tested in November 2020. It was question number one. Now, you are told um, uh, Max Limited manufactures the product in Granted Banzin. Some of the manufacturing expenses are easily identifiable as fixed or directly variable with production. Now, the information is, uh, is given down here. So, we have the months uh, first month, second, third, fourth, fifth all the way to the 10th month. Then we have the number of units produced. This is a, the, this are the X axis. We have it here. Then we have the factory overings. We have them down here. The factory overings will be in terms of shillings. Now you are required to formulate the cost function in the form of A plus BX using number one, the high low method. Then number two, the ordinary least square method. Now, what the student is supposed to know is that when using the high-low method, there are around six steps that you have to follow. The first one, you determine the lowest and the highest activity levels. That is, uh, you look at the figures you have in the x-axis. You look at the, the highest and the lowest. Then number two, you determine the corresponding lowest and the highest costs. That is, you look at uh, the y-axis, the corresponding figures. Then number three, you determine the difference in activities and the difference in the costs. Then step number four, you divide the difference in cost by the difference in the activity to obtain the rate of variable cost. Step number five, you determine, uh, you determine the total fixed cost by deducting variable cost from the total cost. In the last step, you formulate linear prediction equation in the form of y is equals to a plus bx. Now let's see our solution down here using the high low method. We have the highest, you look at here, the highest unit produced was uh, 3,500 units and the corresponding cost was 1,400. Then the lowest number of units produced was uh, 1,500 units. It corresponds with 800. So you find the difference that is, uh, for example, the first one you take um, that 500 minus 1500, you get uh, 2000. Then the other, 1400 minus 800, you get 600. Now away from there, to get the variable cost, which is B, the slope, you take the 600, this one here, you divide by 2000, the difference there. You get shillings 0.3 so your b is 0.3 this figure here then you can compute the fixed cost which is a uh, uh, we look at uh, question number one which was tested in HD first step november 2020 question one my name is mr william now max limited manufactures a product granted maxim some of the manufacturing expenses are easily identifiable as fixed or directly variable with production. The following information relates to the first 10 months of production. Now we have month 1 up to 10. 1, 2, 3 up to 10. The number of units are here. 1500, 2000, 3000, 3500, 3000, 2500, that 500, 3000. 2500, 1500. Then we have the fixed four lines, which is uh, the y axis, this is in shillings, 800, 1000, 1350, 1250, 1300, 1200, 1400, 1250, 1150, then 800. Now required, formulate the cost function in the form of y is equals to a plus bx using number one, the high low method. Four months. Number two, the ordinary least squares method. Eight months. Now, there's our solution. Now, we have around six steps which we follow when we want to formulate our equation using the high-low method. And step number one, what you do is that uh, you determine 
the lowest and the highest activity levels, that is uh, what you have in the x-axis. So the first step is to identify in the x-axis which is the highest activity level here. In our case, 3,500 units is the highest. And then you also identify the lowest uh, activity level, which is 1,500. We have 1,500 here as well as 1,500 here, but it is the same. So you can pick any of these. In our case, we have taken the first one. So that is the first step. Step number two, you determine the difference in the activities and the difference in the costs. Meaning, for example here, in this solution we have taken, that 3,500 being the highest there, the corres it corresponds with 1,400 here. Then the lowest was 1,500, it corresponds with 800. So the difference means you subtract, that is you deduct, that 500 minus 1,500 is 2,000. 1400 minus 800 is 600. So the next step is you divide 600 divided by 2000, this figure here. So you get B, the slope. Slope is the grand chain. So our B is shillings 0 0.3. Now after that, you compute. Now let me come on this side. Now number A is a fixed cost. And this is how you compute your A, the fixed cost. You take the 800. Uh, minus 0 0.3, which is the B, what you have computed the slope, multiplied by the 1500 here. Then 800 minus 450 is uh, shilling 350, so you are A, which is the fixed cost, is shilling 350. Alternatively, because here we have used uh, 800 here, which was the lowest, you can even use uh, the 1400 here and say 1400 minus 0 0.3, which was the slope, times the 500 here. Then it will be 1400 minus 1050. A is shilling 350. So the cost function using the high low method will be y is equals to a plus bx. Now our a is 350 as you have computed here plus 0.3x. 0.3 is the slope. Now that is our question. We have answered number one. Now the next thing is um, we uh, we use the ordinary least square method. The most important thing here is for you to arrange your table this way. The months here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then X, these were given. Then we have Y, they are also given. So you create a column here whereby you have X, Y. You multiply this X by this Y, you have another column here. Then the next thing is you have a column here for X squared. You square x, for example, the first one, 1500 squared, gives you 2,250,000. Then the sum of that, the summations, you handle this. Now, using the ordinary least square method, you start by computing the value of b. b is the slope. The formula is here, n summation xy minus summation x summation y over n summation xy Summation x squared minus into brackets summation x squared. So you substitute n is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 times summation xy means summation of all of this. 3 is 30 million, but we have used our we have in total lose our three zeros there. Then minus summation x times summation y. Summation x is uh, 25,000 times summation y 11,500 over n is 10 times summation x squared is there 66,500 minus into bracket summation x is 25,000 here you square that then you substitute all that your b will be shillings 0 0.3125 then lastly, you compute the value of A, which represents the fixed cost. The formula is summation of Y minus B, summation X over N. So A is equals to summation Y is 11, this one here, 11,500 minus 0 0.3. It was a slope. The one you have computed here, 0 0.3 times summation X, 25,000 here. Summation X divided by N, N was 10. 
So our A, which is the fixed cost, is equal to shillings 400. So our Y is equal to 400, which is the A. That is uh, because we are saying uh, Y is equal to A plus BX. Our A is 400. Is um, this one here on the computer plus the slope 0.3. This is uh, 0.3 X. So that is uh, our answer there. So that is how the student would have attempted that question. Now that marks the end of our lesson today. Thank you. My name is, is uh, Mr. William. My number is 0727 87 10 93. Repeat again. God bless you.